In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to rank your website on the first page of Google using Google Ads. Now, it's important here that I make a distinction between using Google Ads and using SEO or search engine optimization in order to achieve a first page ranking because these are two very different forms of marketing that effectively achieve the same outcome which is getting onto that first page of Google. Um, so I'm showing you an example here with a specific keyword SEO services and we can see here in this example that there's four listings at the top of the results page uh, and you can see next to these four listings that there's an icon an ad icon indicating that these are adverts uh, these are paid promotions so these advertisers uh, each of these websites has paid google in order to have their website ranked at the top of the first page of the results um, so that's one of the main distinctions between ads Google Ads and SEO with ads you pay Google directly to have your ads there you pay for clicks so every time somebody searches for your chosen keyword or keywords such as in this example SEO services and they then click on the ad so if we click to one of these ads it's going to charge that per, that website that advertiser money for that click and then they get a visit to their website and potentially they could get a client or a sale from that um, now seo works very differently search engine optimization is about optimizing your website and the promotion for your website um, to take advantage of the ranking factors Google has for the organic search results. So you don't pay Google directly to have your website ranked. Um, your costs are gonna be very different for SEO. Uh, so let's take a look at the SEO results because they're not appearing at the top of the page, so where are they? The SEO results, the organic listings, are lower on the page. So everything below the ads, these are organic results so each of these pages uh, each of these websites are ranked here based on Google's algorithm for the organic results and that takes into account the content on the page and the uh, title of the page the keywords used within that page how quickly the website loads many different ranking factors and so the process is very different so your costs uh, instead of paying to have your website ranked at the top with the ads your cost is going to be making sure your website is set up extremely well it loads fast it's responsive but also the costs are going to be for promotion and the kind of promotion I'm talking about is creating extremely good content on your website that people are going to link to that people are going to create a buzz about online and that is what helps the website to rank because Google tracks all of these indicators um, and I can talk a bit more about that just to give a bit more of an idea of how that ranking uh, process works for the organic but the important thing to note here is that the time scales for SEO versus Google Ads or a paid listing are very different so I'm going to talk more about that in a moment so just to give a better idea of how the search engine optimization process is different to the process of setting up ads within Google, um, I'm going to give a quick illustration here. So you have set up your website and the first thing you've done is spend some money on your website to make sure it's set up correctly and you've got the on-site optimization done to help it rank within the search engine so your website's fast loading you've got the keywords inserted into your content your website is responsive for mobile devices so you've got a good user experience on your website but the next step 
is to begin promoting your website. So you're creating content that people are going to find useful. So you're creating on your website different blog articles. So your website has got a lot of content, a lot of useful information. And the next step of that process is to have people linking to your content. Um, so people are going to be browsing on the internet and talking about your website. They're going to be sharing your website. So, for example, somebody's on Facebook, one of your visitors is on Facebook, and they're messaging about your website, and they post a link with their message to your website. So they've created a link to your website, and this is what's called a backlink. So this is a link that's linking back to your website, and the more of these you get, the higher your ranking is going to be, especially if they're from um, authoritative websites. So there might be a forum um, which is related to your website, related to um, the uh, content of your website. So it's very relevant and people talking on this forum, they link to your website. And the more of these occur, um, Google picks up on all of these backlinks that are being generated for your website that your past visitors are putting online going to your website. Google crawls the internet and picks up all of these links and they can see how many different websites, how many different people have been linking to your website. So you just keep getting more and more of these from your past visitors, uh, linking from social um, networking sites, linking from forums, different websites, and this is increasing the um, amount of perceived popularity for your website. But the crucial point here is that this process takes a long time. It can be a very lengthy process. It can take uh, weeks, months, years, and in some cases, it can take many, many years, especially for competitive terms, for your website to rank for these, for your keywords, to rank on the first page of Google. And it can also be a very expensive process because you're creating all of these different pieces of content and you may be getting promoted links. You may be paying for links from influencers online. Uh, and it's a very lengthy process. You can end up paying a lot of money for this process. Um, but once your website's ranking on the first page of Google in the organic results, that is very, very beneficial. So it it's definitely can be a worthwhile process, but it can also be a lengthy process depending on how competitive your keywords are. So this is how it differs from the Google ads, the paid ads option, where your ads can be ranked on the first, your website within those ads can be ranked on the first page of Google, and most notably at the top of the first page of Google, almost instantly. So the power of Google ads, what makes it very effective is that you can set up an account and have your campaign running and have your website ranked on the first page of Google for your chosen keywords within hours, not within months or years, but within hours. So that's why in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to accomplish that and how to get your website using Google ads on the first page of Google. So to begin using Google Ads and getting your website ranked um, on the first page of Google, you first need to set up a Google Ads account, which is free to do and very quick to do. Once you've done that, you can then select your keywords. So the second thing to do is to choose which keywords would you like your website to appear within Google for. Um, and Google have a useful tool, it's called the Keyword Planner, um, which you will have access to for free when you set up your Google Ads account. And there you can search for keywords which could be related to your business 
and you want to be thinking what is my target market going to be searching for to, in order to find my product or my service um so for example for this account it's an investment related account so um we can type in investments uk and then we can see a breakdown of all of the different keywords uh, potential customers are using when they're searching in Google and we can decide okay um, these keywords are the type of thing that our potential customer would search for so we want to target these keywords um, so once you've decided which keywords you would like to target it's then a simple case of defining what ad do we want to show what do we want to show within the results page to help promote our website so what is going to engage our target market so you then create text ads that will show in google um, and that's a very simple process um, of defining uh, what you'd like to appear in the headline of the ad and in the description of the ad. So if we go back to um, our example of the SEO services, we can see that this ad has two headlines and we've got um, two descriptions here um, to help us figure out, is this a service that we're, is this the service we're looking for? Uh, maximize your organic growth so um, we've got different text promoting that service enticing us to click on that ad um, so once you've created um, your ads you also need to be thinking about how much you're going to be bidding for each keyword how much you're going to be paying for clicks because ultimately the way we're paying for our ads is every time a user, um, every time a potential customer makes a search in Google and they click on our ad, we pay for that ad. And we define what the maximum amount we'd be willing to pay for a click is. Um, so you do that within your account. Um, we can see, for example, for these keywords in this account, um, a click here on average is costing one pound thirty four um, a click here is one pound forty seven and so on so the way the process works for getting your ad placed in Google is you set a bid and then depending on how high your bid is relative to the other advertisers who are bidding for your keywords um, your bid may your your ad may be ranked higher or lower but what's crucial to notice here is that if we go back to the search results for SEO services, the ads appear above the organic results. So using Google ads, your, your website can appear at the very top of the results. And um, that does give quite a lot of an advantage because we're looking above the fold here. And it's pretty much all ads. Um, the first thing somebody searching is going to see is those ads. And the re I mean, there's a clear reason for that. And that's that Google makes its money from the ads that appear in the search results. Google does not make any money from the organic results. So there's an incentive for Google to place those ads above the organic search results. And that's part of the advantage that you get from using Google Ads. So um, I hope this video has been quite informative. If you'd like more information about how to set up a Google Ads account, how to optimize your Google Ads account in order to get the most from it, in order to get the most from the money that you're spending, there's lots of other videos on my channel which can help assist with that and if you'd like assistance from a professional from myself in setting up a google ads account um, in order to help your business get more clients and more sales through google then feel free to email me personally i'm philip armstrong at optimize lab 
optimizelab.com. So you can email, email me at philip with one L at optimizelab.com. And thank you for watching.